Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate each and every one of you for making this one of the greatest years in the history of the Nakatomi Corporation. On behalf of our president, Mr. Ozu, and the board of directors, we thank all of you and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All right, man. So your lady sees you, you run into each other's arms, the music comes up, and you live happily ever after, right? I could live with that. So if this don't work out, man, you got a place to stay? I'll find a place. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to pull into the parking garage and wait. If you score, you hit me up on my car phone, and then I'll take your bags to the desk. You strike out, I'll get you to a hotel. You're all right, Argyle. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. Hey, good evening. I'm here to see Holly McLean. Just type it in there. I don't see Holly. She must have used her maiden name, Gennaro. Thirtieth floor. Well, that's the party. They're the only ones left in the building. Why don't you take the express elevator? Get off when you hear the noise. Thanks. Hey. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I'm trying to find my wife. She works in this building. The guard at the front desk can help you find her. Yeah, I spoke to him already. He said she's on the 30th floor. Just get in that elevator over there. How do you do? Hi, I'm looking for Holly Gennaro. Ah, you must be John McLean. I'm Joe Takagi. How was your ride in? Good. Thanks for sending the car. Seemed the least we could do. So where can I find Holly? Holly went to the vault to fax some documents, but she'll be back momentarily. Her office is just back here. Come with me. Ellis? Ellis, I want you to meet John McLean, Holly's husband. He's a policeman. Ellis is in charge of international development. Heard a heck of a lot about you. Can I get you anything? Food? Cake? <laughs> Some watered-down champagne? Uh, I'll pass, thanks. John! I was hoping you made that flight. Hi, honey. Is there a place I can wash up? Sure. was that? Did I just hear something? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Due to the Nakatomi Corporation's legacy of greed around the globe, it is about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. You will be witnesses. Now, where is Mr. Takagi, the man who used to be in charge here? Born Kyoto, 1937. Family emigrated to San Pedro, California. 1939, interned Mansonar, 1942 to 43, 
Scholarship student, University of California, 1955. Law degree, Stanford, 1962. MBA, Harvard, 1970. President, Nakatomi Trading. Vice Chairman, Nakatomi Investment Group. Enough! And father of five. I am Takagi. It's a pleasure to meet you. I don't have the code. You broke in here to access our computer? Any information you get, when they wake up in Tokyo in the morning, they'll change it. You won't be able to blackmail our executives, threaten our pro... Sit. Down. Mr. Takagi. I'm really not interested in your computer. But I need the code key because I am interested in the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your vault. And the computer controls the vault. You want money? What kind of terrorists are you? Who said we were terrorists? I assume you realize that the bonds represent at most 10 days operating capital for your parent organization, making this nothing more and a temporary setback. Now, the code, please. It's useless to you. There are seven safeguards on our vault, and the code key is only one of them. You'll never get it open. Then there's no reason not to tell it to us. That's a very nice suit, Mr. Takagi. It would be a shame to ruin it. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. Give me the code. One. Two. Three. I don't know it, I'm telling you. Get on a jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. You're just going to have to kill me. Okay. Okay.